Hey guys, welcome back to Alpha Prepping, and I thought in today's video I'll show you how to make a simple lean-to survival shelter. Now the reason I thought I'd come out today is because the sun is shining and I make the most of the good weather to do a video like this. And also the sun is shining but also the mozzies are out, that's why I've got my mozzie net on to stop me getting, getting bit in the face. And also I've got some detail on my arms just to keep them away. But yeah, well first thing we're going to do, we're going to start putting a ridge line in place and then I'll take you from there. So this is some of the equipment I'm going to be using to make the shelter with. So I've got a small hatchet, a little folding saw, my Moore Eldris, a roll of natural cordage. I've got some jute twine here, my leather, heavy duty leather gloves that I'm trying out because they're brand new. And also I've got some bin liners that I'm going to collect all the debris in, like the leaves and the pine needles and all that, to be put on my shelter last thing to help waterproof it and insulate it. Right, so what I've done here, I've just loosely tied this end of the branch off and at the other end, if you see that between those two trees, the V and the tree, I've wedged it in place. So what I'm going to do, now I've got the level that I want for the ridge line, I'm going to tie this off more securely and then I'm going to tie the other end off more securely. I'm not going to do any fancy knots with this, I'm just going to wrap it around to secure it. And so I've made this ridge line quite thick because I've oversized the shelter slightly because it's going to be like a bushcraft base camp where I'm going to do a lot of filming from. And some overnighters and that. And the reason I'm just using jute is because it's, it's biodegradable really. I say I was leave the shelter, it would just all rot down and wouldn't harm the environment or anything like that. And also I leave it up because if there's anybody else down and about that want to use it, they can. You know? So I always like to say I always go off the beaten track. And usually very few people come out this far. But when they do, they can stop. Stop here and have a brew, or maybe have an overnighter. That should be secure enough now. That's, I'm not using any fancy knots or anything. Just a basic, uh, just basic tie rod. Nothing too special. Yeah. That side done. Now what I'll do, I'll take you to the other end and show you what I'm going to do there. All right, and with this, I've just wedged it between two tree limbs, as you can see. And then all I'm going to do is just tie it off here. Let's get you settled in. This is going to be nothing fancy. I'm going to make sure it's secured off. No fancy knots or anything like that. Ooh. 
Oh, it's a lovely warm day today. Really nice. Making the most of it. So I'm quite lucky because I have the woodlands more or less five minute drive from my, my property. And I try and make the most of it. Especially in weather like this. Our boy's going nowhere. Okay, I want to show you how strong this ridge line is. Um, I'm about 110 kilos. Um, this ridge line is going to take a lot of timber, a lot of weight off the timber that I'm going to put, put on it. So fingers crossed it doesn't snap. So as you can see, there's probably a bit of a bit of a flex in it, but I was right in the centre of this, I think more or less, and it hasn't snapped. But well, you find that what happens is with the strength in the tree comes from the round. As like a lot of engineered timber is cut square and use the strength in the tree is when it's solid. Okay, now we've got the ridge line sorted out and all secured into place. What I'm gonna start doing now is fitting the rafters to the roof. So we'll start from one end and I'll just work back this way. Lucky enough in this area, there's loads of dead, dead standing that's all over the shop that I can use. So I don't have to cut anything down, which saves on my energy. All right, so as you can see, that's all the main rafters sorted out. And then what I'm gonna do is cut all the overhang off and use that to backfill the sides in, ready for me to put on the covering of the ferns and the leaves and the pine needles and all that. Okay then, so I wanna cut these back and I also wanna leave a little bit of an overhang So as you can see, I've uh, trimmed the overhang down and I've used them branches to start filling in the sides of the, the shelter. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get source some more sticks for the far side of the shelter, then I'm going to start covering with ferns and pine needles and leaves.
Okay, as you can see from here, I've started to layer up the ferns onto the structure. What I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of vertical tiling, so you do the bottom row, and you're working on the next row, and so on and so forth. So everything overlaps, so when it does rain, the water just drips off and runs down. Inside. As simple as that, and what you do, you just keep adding to it, adding to it, adding to it, um, because you'd be surprised the uh, amount of resources it takes to actually cover a structure this size. So like I say, I've oversized this this shelter, but like I say, it will take a lot of resources and a lot of time to get it done. Okay guys, can you see how much I've done? It's taken me, it's taken me a good couple of hours, really, to um, get it all sourced and that. And like I say, three quarters done or so. Really, I've just got that last little bit to do at the top there and then do the sides and then decide whether or not to cover it with um, leaves because I might just stick with the ferns to be honest with you because they do a good enough job but I'll wait and see see you guys it's coming along nicely Okay guys, there we go, finally finished. Let's just take you a walk around, show you the finished product. All right then guys, thanks for watching the video to this point. Hopefully it's given you a few ideas to practice your own skills out in the woodland. Um, if you'd like to give us a thumbs up, it'd be brilliant. If you want to subscribe, it would be absolutely top draw. Like I say, we also post on Instagram and Facebook on a regular basis. So guys, until the next time, stay safe out there and we'll see you soon.